Tonight, there is a warning about another copycat virus that's spreading fast and filling doctors' waiting rooms. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson joins us live now with a look at how to tell if you have that one. Jennifer Ann? Yeah, and I'm also going to tell you how to prevent it. And what I learned so far today is I need to spend a lot more time wiping down the live truck because the adenovirus, this copycat flu virus, can live for weeks on hard surfaces. And I also learned you need to use a product with bleach because the germs are much harder to kill than the flu. At first look, they seem identical, fever and cough. But the three steps to fight the flu won't work on the adenovirus. And lately, that's what's been keeping Dr. Asha Sajana busy. A lot more adenovirus than flu. Um, with flu cases, probably not as many as the adenovirus is much more common. And the adenovirus wreaks more havoc on patients. They also can prevent, um, present with pink eye um, conjunctivitis, and they can also have gastroenteritis type symptoms, which is diarrhea, stomach ache, and that type of thing. Tamiflu only helps if you actually have the flu. Flu shots don't work on the adenovirus either. The adenovirus does not have a vaccination. It does have one for military um, personnel, but not for the general public. Adenovirus is harder to kill. It can live up to a couple weeks on surfaces, whereas the flu is only about 24 hours or so. But the flu lasts twice as long. Traditionally for the flu, you usually stick with fever um, on and off, and it lasts about two weeks. And the adenovirus is about seven days. So if you're coughing more persistently beyond that time or still having fever beyond that time, make sure you, you get a chest x-ray and make sure it's not a pneumonia. Yeah, and of course, as always, the best cure is prevention and whether it's no matter what the virus could be, it's really important to make sure that you're wiping down door handles, doorknobs, any public places that you're regularly touching so that you don't spread those viruses. Of course, take vitamins, wash your hands. But if you do get sick and if you have a fever of 104 for two days, then you need to see a doctor even sooner if you feel that your immune system is compromised. Reporting live, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Jennifer Ann, thank you very much.